All right, we got team of the season, Hoffa Layout. Let's take a look at them and the Shrine out. We're looking at a card that has four star skill moves with the five star weak foot, high medium work rates, and he is 6'2. Current acceleration type is control, 99 pace, 95 shooting, 88 passing, 99 dribbling, 88 physical. When we do dive into his in game stats, they look absolutely incredible. And it's not often you get a card that has 99 pace and also 99 dribbling. So, with that max out pace, it obviously gives any card that has it a big advantage in this game. Obviously, they're going to be quicker than most players in this game and should allow them to be really, really effective in that department. And along with the 99 dribbling, especially since this card is six foot two, it's also going to make this card really, really interesting to use. So hopefully, we do get some good gameplay today just so we can get the full experience of his dribbling and really see how good it can really be in this game. Because if it's really good, layout could be super, super dangerous. The recommended chemistry style for this card is going to be that sniper, just so you can get some nice upgrades to his shooting and also his physical stats. The attacking positioning and finishing are already maxed out at 99. So that tells you that his AI should feel really, really good in this game. And also his finishing should be really consistent. Add the plus four to his shot power, it's going to max that out. So the combination of the 99 finishing and the 99 shot power, it's definitely going to help out this card. And with the plus 10 to his long shots, it's going to make him a big threat outside the box and should really add to the effectiveness of one certain playstyle plus that we will get into in a little bit. Also with the sniper, you do get a plus six to his strength and a plus eight to his aggression, but that strength is going to be maxed out all the way up to 99. That's going to allow this card to have a big advantage in this game as well, because if he actually feels like 99 strength, my God, it's going to be very hard to get this guy off the ball. When you are less like dribbling with this card, it's going to be an absolute nightmare for people to defend. When we do dive into his playstyles, he has nine playstyles and three playstyle pluses in the finesse shot plus, the trickster plus, and the quick step plus obviously with the finesse shot plus is going to allow layouts finishing to be absolutely broken in this game i expect this guy to be a big threat outside the box i expect this finesse shots inside the box to be absolutely lights out super excited to try out this play style with layout because my god it's going to make him so dangerous in this game even though he only has the four star skill boost the trickster plus could actually come in handy and makes him significantly more agile when strafe dribbling and lastly with the quick step plus his explosive sprint mechanic is going to be really really good combine this with the rapid play style it's going to allow him to be even more explosive power shot incisive pass long ball pass whip pass and flare other play styles that are definitely going to impact this card in a very very positive way except for the power shot absolutely useless in this game especially since he has the finesse shot plus so for this review we will be trying a half a layout as our main striker in a 4-3-2-1 this is just so he is the main focal point of our attack You're probably thinking cam why don't you try him out on the wing just so you can try him out in wider and central areas honestly i want to get the most out of layout in this review so that's why i decided to play him up top i just want him to get the most action and i honestly do think he has the skill set to be very very good in central areas so with that being said layout has the potential to be a very very good card in this game so let's hop into the gameplay and let's see how good this card can really be oh yeah use that finesse beautiful well done oh yeah Use that quick step. Oh my god, that burst of acceleration was absolutely nuts. Messed up the finish there, but still, that was impressive. All right, so early on, we have a penalty with Leal. He only has 80 pens, which is honestly pretty surprising, but we will go down the middle here. He's not going to save this. Well done. I'll take that. Well done. Dude, it's like you can't get the ball off of him. Initiate his run. Get behind there. Nice little borrow, finesse, beautiful. Our post, well done. Nice little spacing there on top of the box, quick little turn and that finish. I love those type of goals, man. Getting behind the back line once again. Verb spin, little finesse with that five star, well done, bar down, baby. I'll take that. That's a goal asshole. Well. Another goal asshole. Well. Another goal asshole, well. dude. This finesse shot plus is ridiculous. He's at speed. Yeah, nobody's catching up to him. What? What a freaking save by Vandersar. I guess I didn't get the right angle there. Got the right angle there, though. Let's go. Genuinely, though, you don't need to use any other shooting mechanic with this card. Just use that finesse shot with both feet. It's so overpowered, guys. Look, this is going to go in, too. 
Look at that, man. Just goes into that back post with ease. Get the angle. Oh, gets hit by Loris again. Oh my god. It's so easy, guys. And it's so much fun. It'll never get old. I'm just happy that, like, they didn't nerf finesse shots to the ground just like how they did with the Travellas. Like, banging those finesse shots with the finesse shot plus play style from, like, 30 yards out is the closest thing we'll ever get to the older FIFA. With all those crazy long shots. April's finish. Love that. There you go. Oh, yeah. Dude, that pace is absolutely ridiculous. You can tell why he's one of the ultimate tots. Like, he's absolutely ridiculous in this game. Dude, this guy doesn't know where his real Fernand's going. Oh, good save by Allison. Leal. Up like that. Oh, good save, Allison. I had the bottom corner written all over that one. First time. Oh, what a banger. Let's go. Don't know why I said first time when it literally came off the half volley, but still, what a nice finish there. Nice. Okay. That was a little bit of a weird one, but I'll take it. Take that. Well done. Nice. Oh my. Oh, what a save. But still, that pace was ridiculous. So much fun. Oh my god. Go in, Leah. Get the outside. Oh, okay. I was, I was not expecting for that one to go in. Leah. Brings it down. Fantastic. I'll take that. Use that pace. Finesse. Well done. Great finish. Nice little run. Bronze keeper. Like that. Nice. Our post. Well done. What a ball. What a run. Oh my god. Golasso. Nice little ball in there. Again with the finesse, I'll take that. All right, so when it comes to team of the season layout, I can definitely say that he is absolutely fantastic in this game. He's so much fun to use. There's so many good features about this card. So let's get right into it. As you guys probably guessed it, the best thing about this card, hands down, has to be his finishing, mainly because of this beautiful playstyle plus right here. Finesse shot plus is so overpowered in this game. It's so much fun to use. And it allows any card that has this playstyle plus to be super, super effective when it comes to finishing. Outside the box from 20, 25, 30 yards out, you can bang those finesse shots into that back post. Combine it with the five star weak foot too. It literally does not matter. Right foot, left foot, you can bang those finesse shots with any player with the combination of the five star weak foot and the finesse shot plus play style. And Leal can do that for you. It's so much fun to utilize and it allows this guy to be super, super versatile as well. And inside the box, you guys already know, right foot, left foot, once again, it does not matter. It is super, super effective, and it basically goes in every single time. I thought his pace was fantastic as well. Obviously, since it is maxed out, you would expect this guy to be really, really rapid, and he definitely was. I think he does feel like that 99 pace, in my opinion. I think the quick step plus play style definitely helps him out, especially with that explosive sprint mechanic and the combination with the rapid play style as well. It allows him to be really explosive in this game. It allows him to have that explosive edge over defenders in this game as well. And it really shows when you are running by defenders in this game because honestly, he has that quick acceleration and he burns by the defenders and it's so hard for him to catch up to him as well. I thought his dribbling for the most part was really, really good as well. I'm not going to say he feels like messy in this game. Or any other player that is below six foot that is really shifty on the ball. But I'll tell you what, for a guy that is six foot two with these amazing dribbling stats, he still feels really, really good on the ball. You can turn with them. His left stick dribbling is really good. And that's all you need out of a player like this, especially since he is six foot two. He moves very well inside the box when you create space with them, utilizing that left stick dribbling, combine it with the finesse shot plus play style. That's another way you could be really, really effective with half a layout. I also forgot to mention that since his pace is so good, he is a very, very big threat in behind the back line as well. So that's another way you could be really effective with his pace. 
And lastly, I was really happy with his physical stats as well. He felt really, really strong in the ball. And since he did feel really, really strong in the ball, and since he didn't get knocked on the ball very easily, one, he made opponents' lives very, very hard for trying to get this guy off the ball. And two, it improved his dribbling because he wasn't getting knocked the ball very easily. So it allowed him to keep control of the ball and stay true to that left stick dribbling. So in general, obviously, Hafa Leal is an absolute no-brainer if the guys do have the coins to pick him up. Obviously, he is in the more expensive side. That's honestly okay because it makes sense. Five-star weak foot with the finesse shot plus play style. Amazing pace, amazing shooting, amazing dribbling, really strong on the ball. A fantastic card in this game. So if you guys do have a lot of coins, if you guys are looking for a very, very good striker in this game, or even a winger to play on both sides, half layout is definitely your guy. Obviously, if you guys are on a budget, if you can't afford them, that is honestly really, really unfortunate. I just hope you guys were able to get him in your red picks from foot champs but his price tag is going to slowly decrease by time so when he is at a reasonable price tag if you guys do have enough coins definitely go out and pick up this layout card you won't regret it he is so much fun to utilize in this game he is super cracked he is unbelievable so with that being said if you guys did enjoy the video leave a like that'll be much appreciated subscribe for some more eafc content and for some more player reviews make sure to follow all the socials in the description and as always i'll see you guys in the next one